Hello, this is Peepla, the purple butterfly, otherwise known as Peepla7 on Twitter and YouTube, and Peepla elsewhere on the internet. And it just occurred to me, I told you about a chameleon knot, and if you're not familiar with chameleon knot, I'm going to show you how that works when you're doing it in hair instead of in macrame or in knitting. So I'm going to find this section right here. I'm going to stick a beater through. You could use a latch hook, but to me that's just slower. Especially since I could take the latch hook and I have to hold it. And mine, since it's professional grade, is smaller, it falls right out my hair. But with the beater, because essentially what you're doing is sewing. So you get the hair where you want it. Since I'm using a half, that's where I want it. Now I'm going to go back almost exactly through the same section I made. And I'm going to grab that in I just fed through. And pull that up. Now, this is where it gets tricky. You're going to pull that both directions because you're essentially making a center. And you're going to split two sections of that. Let that hang. And then you're going to do your tie and do a tie. Then you're going to grab the sections you let drop. And you're going to do a tie and a tie. Holding one section, pick up another section. Do a tie and do a tie. What that does is make a knot that's secure enough where no matter what you do, even if one section wants to pull out, they all can't pull out. So that's in there. Now the thing about that, especially when you're using human hair, that knot will definitely have to be cut when it's time to take it out, which means you can't preserve this hair and reuse it unless you're using a half and half, like you have a short end and a long end, and then you have to do it very carefully. And to tighten it, all you got to do is just grab the sections, give them a pull, give them a pull, give them a pull, almost like you're braiding it. And that's how you tighten that up. See? But when it's time to take this out, this hair now will have to be sacrificed because I'm going to have to cut right where the knot is unless I'm going to take time and patience to figure out where each individual knot is and then remove it. That will take forever. This hair only costs 20 bucks. So, you know, now if I was using the kind of hair that costs $69, $79, then yeah, I would probably go upstairs, get my link, um, you know, those little round metal things, and I had the little squisher and attach it that way, just wrap it around the hair, you know, use a latch hook to pull the hair through the length, anchor it down, which is effective, and as long as you're not putting it on your hair, you don't have to worry about actually taking your hair out, but that's just a lot of trouble when I can just put a knot in it. So in the meantime, I hope this has been instructional for you. If nothing else, Practice it on like a knit needle or some yarn or whatever until you get the technique down because otherwise you'll go through a bunch of work on your hair and it'll come loose anyway. So make sure you know what you're doing before you do this. The important thing is make sure you wrap around twice so even if it comes apart when you're combing or something, that extra wrap around keeps it from coming out. Anyway, have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye now.